Hey, so sorry about that. The last video stopped on me. I have a 30 minute recording time on my phone. So, um, in that last pack, didn't get anything really huge. Got the uh, Babe Ruth Call Your Shot card. Gregor Polanco. That's about it. So, again, you know, Tops is doing pretty well. Got 13 packs left, so I'm two thirds of the way through the box. Still no relic, still no auto. So we'll see. We'll see what happens there. Uh, home run leaders: Trout, Chris Carter, and Nelson Cruz. It's a nice insert. There's the. There it is. All right. So I got a relic. This is a really nice card. Guy used to. Guy used to uh, play for the Twins. I'll go through the other cards here real quick. Nothing huge. Guy used to play for the Twins. One of my favorite players. Very, very, uh, very fun. Very enthusiastic. You can tell he plays the game with a lot of passion. Got a uh, mem game use memorabilia jersey card of Cargo. The other Cargo. Carlos Gomez. So there's my relic. So that's a pretty sweet card. I actually drafted him on a couple of my fantasy teams this year. Hoping for a big year from him. Uh... I did eight fantasy teams this year, which is less than what I normally do. I have two or three accounts, and I usually and I only use them for fantasy baseball on Yahoo. Um, I normally do thirteen or fourteen. I fantasy baseball is the sport that I love. So, uh, ERA leaders card, National League Kershaw, Cueto, Cueto, and Wainwright. Sorry about that, and that's a pretty nice card. Future Stars, Kevin Kiermaier. And Archetypes, this guy, Greg Maddox, Hall of Famer. Very, very cool. I'm going to guess it's for Control. Yep. So Control. So that's a really cool card. Again, all these cards are up for sale other than the five or six Twins cards I have sitting here next to me. So if anybody wants to maybe trade or something, just let me know. Got a second Kershaw card. Uh, looks like they put a second one in. This is another base card, so don't know if it's a short print or the other one I got was a short print or what, but uh have to do a little research on that, but that's a pretty cool card nonetheless, Kershaw. Now that I've gotten my relic, it takes a little bit of the fun out of it, but still, uh, have so far I've gotten one, two, three, four, five, six Twins cards out of the 12 possible. Again, I'll run through those just... Not th not that anybody cares, but just because it's fun. Kenny Vargas, Phil Hughes, Eduardo Escobar, Brian Dozier, one of my two favorite players on the team. Swarzak no longer with the Twins, and Brian Dunsing. I got um, out of those six cards. I got Brian Dunsing, I got Brian Dozier, and I got Eduardo Escobar all at Twins Fest. I didn't get Phil Hughes or Kenneth Vargas. Those were two of the guys I was really hoping to get, so those might have to be TTMs. Hoping I get a couple duplicates so I can send an extra one out. 2014 team cards. That's going to be really cool. A lot of people are going to try to collect the whole team sets again. I know I personally will be. Padres. They're going to make some noise this year. Again, looks like maybe a refractor. Hard to tell. I'll have to look at it. But uh, Tyler Skaggs. It's got the foil in the back. So may, not a refractor, but I guess a foil card. So if somebody could help me out with what that is, that'd be awesome. Again, really cool looking card. First pitch, a uh, guy, I'm not even going to try to say his name, Meb Kaflesgi. Uh, base cards, Ryan Zimmerman, Nolan Arenado. So it looks, uh, got a mountain of cards here. Supposed to get 360 cards total. These are all the base cards. So definitely starting 2015 Series 1 out right. Lots and lots of cards. Again, $61 is what I paid for mine on eBay. I uh, got another league leaders card, Kluber, Scherzer, Weaver, A-L-E-R, uh, wins leaders, excuse me. So that's pretty, pretty nice card there. That'll go in the pile. Uh, okay, another insert, 
card, uh, Supreme Court Justice Sandra Day O'Connor, 1981, first lady sworn in. That was actually, that's actually a very, very underrated event. People really don't understand that, you know, women didn't get the right to vote till 1920, and it took 60 years to, uh, 61 years, rather, to uh, get a female Supreme Court justice. So that was actually a big deal at the time, and I think sometimes people overlook it today. Um, but still a very cool card. This other guy got on a lot of fantasy teams this year because he was available in later rounds, Steve Ciszek. Also, I believe he was an all-star last year, so... That'll be fun. Trying to get the videos to upload to Facebook. I'm not having much luck, so bear with me if I don't if I can't get the videos uploaded. I'll at least post a picture of the hits. Rizni Casillo rookie card. So that's a pretty cool card. Le two league leader cards right in a row. Wins leaders, NL, Kershaw, Cueto, Wayno. And a, uh, NL RBI leaders, Gonzalez, Stanton, and Upton. Uh, career highlight card, Bob Feller, 1936 debut, one's rookie of the year. It's a nice insert card. Also, too, um, leave me uh, leave me comments right down below the video if I can get them to post. Leave me uh, comments. You guys know I'm a big TTMer. Normally, I do twins. I've started to branch out a little bit. I sent to Adam Dunn. I sent to Ike Davis. I sent to a few other guys. Um, let me know what players during the season send back relatively quick. It doesn't have to be a twins player, but just let me know um, what players send back pretty quick, and I'll send to them. So help each other out wherever we can here. 2014 Angels team cards. So that's pretty nice. Uh, Ryan Braun uh, got the uh, foil card again, it looks like. You can see that one. Ryan Braun, that's pretty nice. Got the inspired play, Freddie Freeman, and one of my favorite players from the 90s growing up. I still think the guy should be in the Hall of Fame or have a stronger consideration than he does. Crime Dog, Fred McGriff. One of the prettiest swings I think I've ever seen on a player. He and uh, he had one of my favorite swings. Him and Ken Griffey Jr. are two of my favorite swings uh, in baseball history. Obviously, behind Ted Williams, I still think Ted Williams had the greatest swing in the history of baseball. Uh, I got an I got a TTM back earlier from this guy uh, a month or two ago from a home address, Eric Young Jr. Still a free agent. Very nice guy. Gave me the inscription I asked for. Miguel Montero. Action shot. Very, very cool. Jordan Zimmer, uh, Cabre Career highlight. Miguel Cabrera winning the Triple Crown in 2012. Again, such a huge accomplishment. I think it kind of went a little underrated. People don't realize just how incredibly, incredibly difficult it is to not only lead the league in home runs and RBIs, but also an average. Usually, uh, you know, you have a lot of players that can do one or the other, but not both. Uh, not all three, so. Uh, very nice card here. Rookie card, Javier Baez. Guy who won the AL Cy Young Award this year, Corey Kluber. Hate that he's in the division that the Twins are in, but very, very good pitcher. Makes the division fun, Andre Ethier. New York Mets team card. Uh, another Babe Ruth Call Your Shot card. So I'll be, I've got four of those so far that I can scratch off. Uh, career highlight card, Brooks Robinson, 1964, locks up AL MVP. That's a pretty sweet card. That one looks really cool. Um, future stars, Masahiro Tanaka, a guy made a lot of money coming over from Japan last year. Pitched really, really well. I saw him in, I saw him at Target Field against the Twins on the 4th of July weekend. On July 3rd, actually. It was a Thursday, Friday, Saturday series. He actually struggled a little bit against the Twins, but still managed to uh, pitch well enough to win the game. One of my favorite flamethrowers in all of baseball, Aroldis. Dude just brings absolute gas. And I was talking earlier about kind of the design of the cards and how some team cards have... Uh, 
have a really cool look to them based on the team colors. I'll give you a perfect example of kind of the contrasting styles. So this is a Baltimore Orioles team card for this year. You can see it goes, you can see it goes light, starts light at the top, goes orange at the bottom. It's really hard to see on my phone, but you can kind of see that there. Oakland A's, same thing. You can see really, really nice, cool design. Very, very cool. It's grass-colored green, too, so that's a really, really kind of nice touch. Got five packs left. One, two, three, four, five. I've already gotten my relic card, so I probably won't get an auto. But uh, I've only gotten six of the 12 Twins cards that came out in Series 1, so hopefully I get a couple Twins cards per pack here. Uh, 2014 team card, Colorado Rockies. Kyle Seeger. Oh, that's a very, very cool card. I'm going to save that one for... I'll do that one in the last card here. Just regular uh, regular base cards. Nobody super, super, super good in that pack. Other than the man, the myth, the legend himself, the great Bambino, a Babe Ruth archetypes. Very cool. And obviously his archetype that he brought to the game. Power. That's a very, very cool card. About 11 minutes into this video and I got rat starting to wrap up here. So... Future stars, Billy Hamilton. This guy could steal 70 bases a year. He could be best base stealer in the league since Ricky Henderson. He has that kind of potential and that kind of speed. Baltimore Orioles team card. I did get a Twins card. Very cool. Chris Parmalee, even though he's not with the Twins anymore. That's okay. That'll go towards my Twins team set. First pitch card without Ryan Lewis, Macklemore. So that's a cool card. Nice little insert there. Uh, Zach Wheeler, Jose Reyes, and Ubaldo Jimenez. So, got uh, going through these pretty well. I'm really excited to scratch off those uh, Call Your Shot cards and enter them on, on the Tops website. We'll see what happens with that. I'll definitely let you guys know if I win anything or keep, uh, keep you updated. Uh, Kansas City Royals team card, obviously. They did really well. This team, they actually reminded me a lot of the 87 Twins. The 87 Twins won the World Series with an 85-77 and 77 record. You can see on the card there, the Royals had 89-73. and 73, So not a huge difference, um, but the Twins and the Royals were both led by pitching. Twins obviously had... Um, Twins obviously had Frank Viola and Burt Blylevin at the time, and uh, the Royals had Yodano, Yordano Ventura and James Shields, big game James. Got two twins in one pack, so I'm cl so I'm getting closer. I got a guy who's no longer with the team, but still a cool card, Chris Colabello. Very nice. One of my one of the nicest twins players I've met. I talk to him on Twitter all the time. We DM. Legitimately good dude. Met him last year at Twins Fest before he made his debut. Um, twins fans are expecting big things out of him this year. Got him in a trade a couple years ago with Philly for Ben Revere. Trevor May. Um, I know for a fact Trevor May has told me on Twitter that if I send him that card, he will sign it. So I'm going to TTM. That's going to be one of my spring training TTMs. It's another reason why I wanted to wait to open this box because I knew if I got that card... He would send it out to me. Uh, one of the best World Series ever. Career highlight card, Josh Beckett, 2003 World Series. Second time in five years the Marlins have won a World Series. Down to the final two packs. This has been a lot of fun. I really I enjoy doing this. Again, let me know in the comments how I'm doing. Let me know especially if you want any cards for sale. Top card, Twins card. Very nice. All-Star Closer. Glenn Perkins, he was on the mound last year. He threw to Twins battery mate Kurt Suzuki, win the All-Star. And the All-Star game got the last out, so that's a pretty cool card. That's a very cool card for me. Uh, very nice card, Longoria. And I haven't mentioned this guy's name too much tonight, but here is one of his cards for this year. AL MVP Mike Trout. Very, very cool card. 
Got another archetype card here. Got a f guy who I, you might not know actually did play for the Twins for a short period of time. Mr. Steve Carlton, Hall of Famer. Pitcher for pitching, obviously, is what his archetype is. Got another throwback. Ed Goodson, Giants. Again, for those of you who actually get these cards, they feel exactly like the regular 75 tops. They have no gloss on them. They have that old-style cardboard feel. The only difference, there's the back, the only difference that you can see is that little guy right there. It's hard to see, it says Tops 2015 Original, so very nice insert there. Might look him up and see if he's, see if he does TTM. If he does, I'll maybe send that one off to him. That'd be kind of a neat card to get him to sign. 15 minutes into the video here, so it looks like we're gonna be uh, looks like we're gonna be wrapping it up here pretty quick. Uh, Fernando Rodney, a uh, very cool card, right in midair of the arrow pose that he does. So that's a pretty cool card. Arizmendi Alcantara, one of the uh, Cubs' top prospects, future stars. Another one of my favorite players in the league, Adam Jones. Love him. Imagine how good the Mariners would be if they had him in their outfield as well. Uh, Chicago Cubs, team card, very cool. Sean Doolittle, I like this dude because, like me, he sports a very, very nice beard. Look at that beard. Look at that epic, wonderful beardness. Look at that. That is beautiful. It's thick and flowing. Look at that beard. Look at that beard. Got a uh, got another looks like what looks like to be a foil card. Nathan Evaldi also got the regular base card with that, but you can kind of see there. So there's that. That'll be an insert definitely. Last four or five cards I've got here. The 40th anniversary of the free agent Hall of Famer Gregory Maddox, also known as Greg Maddox. Very very cool. Obviously one of the three three best pitchers in the last 30 years, without a doubt, along with Randy Johnson and Roger Clemens. The uh, guy who was instrumental in the postseason last year for his team, Greg Holland. Uh, Gene Segura. And got another twin in the last pack, Ricky Nolasco. So Ricky Nolasco right there. So I know for a fact that there were 11 twins in the team set plus an insert. And I got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So I've got the whole Tops 2015 team one set. I'm kind of surprised they didn't put Joe Maurer in there. Usually they do. That guy has been, for many years, he's been the face of the franchise. Um, if he can stay healthy. I personally, being optimistic as a Twins fan, think the Twins can do some damage this year, especially with uh, Torrey Hunter being back and also with uh, the acquisition of Irvin Santana. So just to kind of give you an idea of uh, the base to hit ratio, these are the base cards. So nice, big, thick stack there. I'll have to get my 3,000 card box. I'll have to rearrange and start putting those in there. And all the hits that I got, again, minus the uh, Twins cards. Nice nice stack. So, didn't do too bad. Again, you can tell the, uh, the Relic card really sticks out. Relic card hit of the box. Carlos Gomez, game used. So, thank you guys so much. Uh, again, let me know if you liked the video. Give me some comments. More, more importantly, let me know if you want any of the uh, cards that you saw here today. They are up for sale and trade with the exception of the Twins cards. Thanks.